Trinidad and Tobago is a twin island sovereign state that is the southernmost nation in the Caribbean. Approximately 31,000 voyages pass within 25 nautical miles of Trinidad and Tobago each year, transiting the Panama Canal en route between the east coast of South America and the Pacific seaboard of the USA, between the west coast of South America and the Atlantic seaboard of the USA and Europe. The recent expansion of the Panama Canal will increase the already growing demand for ship repair and maintenance in the Caribbean region, which needs more shipyards capable of handling large vessels. The La Brea Dry Dock Project is therefore poised to capture the South American and Panamanian shipping traffic, as well as the very common offshore platform activities in this region. Located in the Gulf of Perea, which is considered to be one of the best natural harbors on the Atlantic coast of the Americas, the proposed shipyard is ideal economically, logistically, and environmentally. According to China Harbor Engineering Company's master plan, the La Brea Dry Dock Project will have two dry docks and 15 berths, occupying a total of 361 hectares. The first phase of the project includes two dry docks and one berth, for maintenance and repair of vessels up to the new Panamax size and the offshore platforms. The project is impressive in its scale, with a number of construction objectives to be fulfilled, including two dry docks, a pier, dredging the navigation access channel, turning circle and berth basin, land reclamation, revetments, workshops, office buildings, a training center, accommodation, support facilities and utilities, and access roads. For Trinidad and Tobago, the La Brea Dry Dock Project is projected to generate approximately 500 million U.S. dollars for the economy annually, a direct addition of 2.4 percent to the annual GDP by the fourth year of operations. At the local level, the construction and operation of the dry dock at La Brea will lead to localization of companies in the industries that provide support services to the shipyard, including, but not limited to, the steel processing, paints and lubricants production, electromechanical equipment supplying. Likewise, the corresponding increase in demand for lodging, catering, medical, entertainment, and other services will definitely boost the local economy. Beyond the physical infrastructure, the La Brea Dry Dock Project is set to galvanize the local economy by empowerment through training. The shipyard operator will cooperate with the local institutes, like the University of Trinidad and Tobago, to train local professionals and transfer technology to local partners in the shipbuilding and associated industries. During the four-year construction phase, 3,500 direct and 5,700 indirect jobs will be created. The operational phase will see 3,700 direct and 13,000 indirect jobs created. Therefore, the dry dock project will become the backbone of the economy of La Brea and diversify the economy of Trinidad and Tobago.